welcome to the video world and we're going to discuss about the first phase of ecosystem. We have aquatic ecosystem. When we say aquatic ecosystem, that is an ecosystem in a body of water. Or in other words, it is entities with plants and animals relying on a watery environment. Also, their physical environment interact in water. Or in other words, communities of organisms that are dependent on each other and on their environment live in aquatic ecosystem. We have here two main types of aquatic ecosystem. First, we have the marine ecosystem. And the second, we have the fresh water ecosystem. We can categorize aquatic system even further if we look at patterns of water movement. First, we have the lentic, which is water bodies have very slow moving or stagnant water, and this includes lakes and ponds. The second pottery, we have the lotic, which is the water bodies have faster moving water like rivers and streams. You can remember the difference by thinking about how lactic water flows. O in each is pronounced the same. Atlantic, stagnant, lactic, faster moving water. And last, we have the wetlands, which are exactly what they sound like. The soil of a wetland is saturated or in undated with water at least pass or part of the time. Wetlands often occur in the zones connecting lands and large water bodies. So as I've said in the previous slide, we have two kinds of aquatic ecosystem. We have first marine ecosystem. Marine ecosystem is about 71% of the Earth's surface and forward, and it involves the following. First, shorelines are where oceans and seas meet land, and since it's close to the sea, it's always prone to hurricanes and erosion. Habitat for burrowing animals. Next, it involves coral reefs. Cover less than 1% of the oceans, also known as rainforests of sea, these are clear, warm, shallow seas, made up of a result of accumulation of calcium carbonate disposed by marine organisms like corals and shellfish. Next, we have the open ocean. Oceans have a great impact on the biosphere and it's the source of rainfall, ocean temperatures, determine climate, and wind patterns. Also, marine ecosystem has viral salt dissolved in it. The average salinity of salt water is around 35 parts per thousand. Next, we have the freshwater ecosystem. It is very small portion of the Earth's area that is only 0.8% of the Earth's surface is covered by them. Primary production in a freshwater ecosystem is controlled by light and nutrients availability. Freshwater can be defined as the water that contains a relatively small amount of dissolved chemical compound. It includes standing water lakes and ponds. Standing water ecosystems are known as Atlantic ecosystem, so lakes and ponds. And the organisms in lentic ecosystem includes algae, root and floating leaves of plants, and invertebrates such as crabs, shrimps, crayfish, clams, and so on. Amphibians also include such as frogs and salamanders and reptiles like alligators and water snakes. Also, freshwater ecosystem involves moving water, rivers, and streams. 
plowing or plowing water ecosystems are known as lactic ecosystem with water plowing in uniform direction and in a directional way. Examples are rivers and streams, which harbor several species of insects and fishes, and crustaceans like crayfish and cubs, and mollusks such as clams and minkets. Also, a freshwater body of water has fewer dissolved compounds or salts per cent, unlike the marine ecosystem. So as a review, we have here the aquatic acid ecosystem, and it includes living organisms or non-organisms that can live in ocean, or vice versa, can live in ocean at the same time in the land. Also, in aquatic ecosystem, we have two types. We have the fresh water ecosystem and also the marine ecosystem. In marine ecosystem, it have high salinity percentage, while in the freshwater ecosystem, it have 0.8% of salinity. And also, we can identify aquatic ecosystem according to the flow of the water. It can be it can be according to its plant. So thank you for listening to the video.